if you are promoted, you must have a license. That license will give you the power, will give you the energy for you to be able to come out with fight. That is why you have promoters organizing fight every week and all that. But if you don't have the license, Johnny, it means that you have actually nullified your membership as a stakeholder of Ghana I mean, what Boxing happens Authority. To those who fail to renew their license, any sanctions for them and why? Absolutely, there's going to be a sanction. But you know, uh, this new administration believes in unity of purpose. Okay. In as much as they all know the rules and regulations, as we speak now, just after the release came out, Johnny, you can't believe it that a lot of them come to the GBA just when the, when the release was submitted to the media, just after 30 minutes. We had most of our four of them came to register. Okay. So, Johnny, we are calling attention of boxers, matchmakers, ring announcers, I mean, referees, judges. Every single stakeholder must try to go to the GBA and renew your license. When you do that, you are going to help us to be able to be on the same page and do the right thing, Johnny. Okay, away from this, we're being told that pretty soon, it may be next week, that the, the boxing league is once again starting here in Ghana. I remember that we over here at Metro TV used to do that. Uh, it's no more. And then around 15 years ago, educate us a little bit. What's the latest regarding the Boxing League? Johnny, I, I want to thank you so much for this uh, wonderful question. And I am a part of uh, this wonderful Metro TV. You were a part of it. We started the Men Only Boxing Championship on, on this particular network. Today, it has moved to another network. And then you have shown that, indeed, you are a professional journalist. Yes, Johnny, coming Saturday is going to happen. And for this one, there is so much changes in, in this league. We have 12 boxing gymnasium who are going to participate, Johnny. And then the winner of the league will go home with a brand new car. And the best boxer of the tournament will also go home with a brand new car. Johnny, every week we'll be giving award to the best boxer for the juvenile, for the amateur and professional boxing. And again, we're going to have a special fight that is going to represent the president. You know, remember in football, we have what we call the President Cup. In boxing, we have a special belt that has been designed and then everything about the president is on that belt so that after within the league we would have a special event where boxers would have to fight for the best title or the president title so Donny, there's a lot of things going to happen and this is not a time that boxers who are not trained who don't train who don't do anything will just come and join the fair no Johnny, you have to make sure you prove that you belong to a boxing gym. You have a trainer. The GBA under the technical director, Shadrach Akwei, will make sure that every boxer will be monitored. We'll make sure you do the right thing at the right time before you be part of the league. So, Johnny, that is the issue. And again, let me make the point. Promoters who, who, who have their alliances and their operating, at any given time, they can also organize an event. They shouldn't think that because of the league, Promoters cannot organize. No, you can organize. Promoters can even collaborate with, with, the, with, with the organizer of the league. As we speak now, IMAX Media Group is a promoter. Okay. Okay, it's a promoter. GBA is there to support them and make sure the right things are done. So any promoter can collaborate with IMAX Media Group and okay. bring a fight. It could be a title fight and all that. Now, John, you are aware that today we have the national titles. They are back. Yeah. We have 10 of them so far. Seven titles are gone. We are left with three. And these seven titles that are won by boxers, they will live to defend their titles. And now, Johnny, if you win the title, it is there for you to keep it. It is not about you winning the title. You have to defend it for three times before you keep it. No. If you win the title, it has become your bona fide property. So that is the strategy we, we, we that we are bringing to, we, need, we need to go, but just, just before you go away and probably before we wrap up, last question. In most of these uh, championship or th most of these league matches that the GB and partners organize, I know very well that um, the boxers always complain about their pairs, their pairs, money is involved. Has that been resolved? Will they get their pairs? Johnny, I'm telling you that, and I'm very happy you are conversing with boxing. Yeah. I know, Johnny, from tomorrow up to Wednesday, Thursday, you'll get back and give your viewers all the details about how much boxes are going to okay. go home with. They are, and you see, we have money for the boxes. Okay. We have something for their trainers. Okay. And then we have something for the gymnasium. Okay. 
And then we are also making sure that boxers will be provided with some facility. Okay. Apart from they being left on T for them to market themselves, Johnny, okay. it is going to be a huge turning point for Ghana boxing. Because this particular platform, it is going to give professional boxers the platform to exhibit whatever they know they know better. When they do that, it's going to market them not only in Ghana, but across the globe, Johnny. Well, I mean, Lante. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Certainly, we'll get to you at the appropriate time regarding Ghana boxing. We've been speaking to the communication director of the Ghana Boxing Authority, Mohamed Amin Lamte, on series of issues regarding boxing here in Ghana. Well, all too soon, we are wrapping up Sports Direct. It's a Friday.